sorry sorry <laughs> okay we have a get request or get route to serve the index file yeah, no to serve the index content uh, let's say here okay we also have a post route here to handle the post request whenever we upload a new image right third the third one is uh, a get request to show on the original images all right for example here if you click here look uh, if you take a look at uh, the uh, left hand side corner box on the left corner here you see uh, a url there that is a get request to see all the images if you click here you see all of them right and what next uh, a post to uh, a post request to handle on the uh, in the memes like uh, for example here if i click on this kit i think i did it already okay if i click on this kit and then uh, i add the text here and i save it i click save it means i make a post request to our server and then inside the function it will do some magical things like for example adding text right. that's the purpose for this post route and also after we uh, done everything then our server will redirect us to the result page the result page will show all the means here which is here so this is another get route right the get request to this round all right uh, i'm gonna move this one uh, up a bit it's so hard to see uh, can you see the the panel on my screen or, or just me I think just me is it's blocking my views. Uh, okay, so that's for the uh, rounds and <clears throat> the middleware we're gonna use is the motor. Motor. What's the motor? I'm gonna show you motor here. If you go down, you go down, go down, go down. Uh, chatting. If you use motor, I think I have a a link to motor. If I don't have, you have to go to npm.js.com and then type in motor, motor, shut for it. Slowly, step by step, you shut motor here. Okay, and here's the description. It's a middleware to handle file upload. Mainly used for uploading files here, right? So it's a middleware. And you have to install it like this. Uh, this one is, and this one is same. So you can use this one. And here's here how the instruction how to use a form, uploading through a form. So basically, you need to the type is file. You need type is file. So in in order to upload a file, instead of uh, type text, for example, type text means like you sending text, not a file. And type files mean you sending a file and it's a post request right the action is where we are sending the file to the endpoint of our backend server the route and you you also need this one and i don't know how to spell and tip and tip so basically you you're saying that okay this is a multi-platform data i don't know how to explain it's there like uh, four or five you can shut on it and you should see html HTML form, you should see an article here. <clears throat> so basically, you will have a couple of values here application, SSX form, URL, and code means like, uh, what we usually send. We're sending uh, through the URL with a form, and text plan is a different thing. We barely use it, so we mainly use these two. Right? So you can use this one to send queries, as we already did. Um, yesterday or uh, this morning and then you send file using multi-part and form data okay there's description so i'm not going to deep about this uh, okay i'm going to copy and paste uh, the file here i'm going to send it to our school uh, our channel one okay i'm gonna i'm gonna put it here and close this go back okay <clears throat> so we need a form Here's how we uh, uh, are adding a form right here. Cool. And um, after that, we want to uh, use a uh, define our 
route here and you can see this our route nothing new right nothing new yet this around upper post you may use router dot post not upper post because when I do this uh, I didn't use the uh, express generator I call everything from track and also here's uh, we are checking okay we are checking if there's a file we will do uh, next step if there's no file the user doesn't like uh, he, he didn't send any file to our server we will say okay you need to select and upload a file so just a um, like explaining rough explaining explanation for you and here's how this part is how we define the motor so basically the motor we there's a couple of ways to use it okay uh, there there's like a, a lot of options and stuff and many uses but basically we want to use something called this storage why because using this storage we can like uh, we can define which name we want to save right which name we want to save the file as and we also can define where we want to store them for example i want to store them inside uh, our 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 here for example public and inside public i create two folders the first one is meme the second one is uploads the uploads here is to contain to, to store on the original images right and the memes here is uh, to save on the uh, the, uh, the 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 modified picture which had the, the meme text on that on top of it so we have two folders to store two different images and that's it okay so right now we don't have any database so uh, we haven't learned any, uh, about any, anything about database so we're gonna make uh, use of what we have learned from uh, the beginning of this week we will make a two json file right the first file will be an array the second one is going to be an array as well but the first file will store all the original image information and the second file will store all the uh, the memes information so basically it's going to be like this <clears throat> okay we have two files right data to contain all the original data information here and the second one is meme right now i don't have any uh, memes inside my local version i only have it all online so this one is same it kind of uh, the same with this but it has uh, the memes information not the original images okay and here's a couple of uh, fields that when you store a file you will see and here's a path the path name is a, uh, a file name here's the name of the file which is one of them and this is the path that uh, leads you to that file on your local machine right so it is here in user admin code and blah 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 and then inside uploads folder as you can see here it's an upload folder here and the name of the file right you also have uh other couple a couple of other properties called mime i don't know how to say it uh, mime type type so basically it's a type of your file so if you want to uh, guard against that uh, people is gonna like uh, they want to upload the html files or they want to upload a text file and you don't want that right you can go against it by saying okay if it's not this type file you don't allow them to upload or you don't save to the database right okay that's one options and i think that's okay 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 let's go um all right uh that's about the motor uh, just introduction to motor and where are we uh here Okay, the database are already explained the database as well cool and the image processing gym today we're not uh, doing anything of this it's another feature for example if you want to add text on the image you need to do gyms gym is just another library so example gym uh npmjm gym <coughs> and gym is so very famous Okay, you have like almost a thousand million, uh, a million dollars this week. And this gym is very easy to use sometimes. Uh, here, some example. Okay, don't worry about it today. 
we will do it tomorrow and what else do i have to go uh, yeah yes so the idea of motor here is you read the file from the request you validate the file is it the file that you allow to save or allow the user to upload if it's yes you save it to our server and then return a some information about that file to the next uh, function in the stack right the next uh, middleware for example and how do you how do you return those kind of information you can like create a new key a new properties inside the request object because request object are, go, are going to, is going to be passed from function one to function two to function three right so in function one you create a new properties inside request object and you pass that request object back uh, down to the function two so function two can also have access to that object as well and all the data will be passed down until you reach the end okay that's how you uh, like passing props for example in passing prop in uh, react and see the same thing you're passing it down and you cannot go back it's all it's a one way right and uh, actually when i build this app i only receive a request from charles like okay just build a meme maker that's it that's the only uh, request he asked me and then you have to think of all the steps you want to uh, you have to do before uh, you get the final results for example and your your client also said that okay i want that app yeah, and you have to think don't depend too much on um, the user story for example user story is just a uh, it's, it's kind of like a guideline for you you can do anything you want you can like be uh, creative adding more feature to your app application it's yours it's not mine it's yours so it's your choice to add more features and here's a rocket uh, it's not really so hard but uh, you can resize the images for example <clears throat> if the the file you upload is too big it's very hard for the user to uh, to see here and you, we don't like that because uh, when you see a uh, memes it's very small it's kind of like a 300 uh, multiply 300 pixel right it's not that big so you uh, you should have a filter to resize the image before you save the database for example cool and uh, what else so the objective of this lab is to understand how the middleware works right even though in the theory it's very easy but actually when you go into practice for example motor is very complicated and it's hard to grasp and also because everyone designed the, their middleware differently and you handle the file but it is very important in the future in your application in any application you used to have a, a feature for example upload your id card upload your photo for example facebook you upload your photo and then you also have to manipulate those uh, image right using uh um gym for example gym very famous and so you can practice your express router router as well because right here we're gonna have uh let's see at least five routes here and so it's good for you to practice uh, your html skill as well because you're gonna make something like uh uh no not this um, this the model <laughs> it took me too much time compared to other stuff to make this model and to be in the middle <laughs> And the image as well, it's, it fits in the middle. It's not perfectly uh, like scale, right? As you can see. So it took me too much time to uh, style, and I hate that. All right. Uh, so the last, lastly, practice reading documentation is very important because in your final project, for example, if you want to add more features, some so strange feature, you need to understand the docs. You need to understand how to use them. So you better practice the uh the reading documentation skills all right uh so that's it uh i'm gonna the uh, demo step by step right uh let's go with uh create a new server making a form and then we can upload the form uh, upload the images first these two first and then we finish this one and let's see how how many mice are we have Oh my god. 
Alright, sorry guys. If I go into the car, I, I don't really know when to stop. So can you stop me if you like? It's, it's going too far. Um, let's create a new folder. This one is Emily. I'm gonna delete this folder, Emily. Let's, let's create a new one. Uh, Express view equal to ABS, right? And the name of this is gonna be uh, new meme. Great, CD to new meme. And we have to do NBM install. Right? NBM install. And after that, I'm gonna open our code editor right here. So cool. Uh, and the first line I'm gonna add is uh, the dev environment. I'm gonna change this one to dev and not mon. Okay. Also, uh, also I'm gonna install npm install not mon. Uh, what next? I'm gonna create an env file. And the park is going to be 5,000. It's my habit. 5,000. Okay, everything's okay. Uh, oh, just override. Okay. Close it. Open again. Uh, dev, dev not mon. Oh, I installed not mon, but it's not here because uh, I still open the file here and it cannot override my file. So I do it. Install again. You will see a, a new line uh, right here, I think, that's saying there's a package called Nomon in your package.json. All right. Uh, okay, here, here we go. Earlier, I, I still opened this file and it cannot override my files. So now I'm going to close it. Part is there. And I think we need to install one more thing npm install, oh shit, too many, dot env in order to read the uh, global environment okay and in here not here in bin here i think we need to do something i don't i don't remember the syntax so go out go to npmjs uh, dot env i think just require and dot. all right here's how we use it just copy this line in here Okay. All right, now we can start our server and dm run dev. Okay. I expect to have a web server running on localhost 5000. No. All right, we got it. Cool. And I'm gonna. This is useful. Not really. This is not really closing. And the typing race, no. So I say, okay, if there's something wrong on our learning auto, you can have a link here. You can see this gist here to another version. I have it somewhere else on my gist because something wrong with the SBS when we try to render it. Right. Oh, I actually, okay. Right, I'm going to close this one. All right, step up, step one, set up our web server, done. Step two, uh, someone asked me, too fast? <laughs> okay, okay, do it too fast. Uh, uh, right. Uh, what was the second thing you did after adding dev? Uh, after adding dev, <coughs> I install not mom, not no demon. And then after install no demon, I also install dot env. And then inside www here, I add one more line to to import the dot env and use it. Okay. Right. Uh, I think that's it for dot, uh, this here. And this here is done. I don't use it. Don't use it. Now we will we work on the let's go and work on the index here. Okay. So this is the file that we will work 
on a lot and we need to change something we the first step repair all necessary views for example it's because it's easy we can have a uh, uh, let's say um, a nav bar i'm going to use a nav bar if you haven't i see a lot of you guys haven't uh, add a lot of your nav bar into your svs file so this is how we add it um go to bootstrap for interruption to bootstrap <coughs> Go and find Napa. Oh no, shit. Okay, you we, we need this first. Right? Go back here. Uh where's that S R S R I don't know what it is now. Okay, let me add this one uh first. Uh inside your views, inside your layout, you want to have the uh what is it called? The uh CSS file from Bootstrap, right? Remember to put it on top uh, above your own, okay, so that you can override their styles. Uh, question from Joris. Uh, he's stuck at setup. So what's your problem now? Uh, like what doesn't work? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll stop a little bit. Can't start a server. Did you do NBM install at all? NBM install or NBM same? They are the same, same thing. Both commands are the same. You cannot start a server. You, in order to start a server, you have to do NBM run dev. It's okay. Am I recording? Uh, yes, yes. All right, can I move on now? Uh, missing Chris. Uh, 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 oh, I think you didn't put in the dev here. You need there to define the script. Uh, you did. Missing strip dev after NBM run dev. No, it's like uh, you're missing the strip here. Maybe you forgot the comma. Make sure you have them. Uh, the install. No, no that error is not about not even. That error is about he missed he missed this line here. The strip here. So how about you to MEM star? Does it work? Uh, what about yeah? The the car the comma here is very important. It's a JSON file. Okay. Uh, all right. So there's something wrong there. Are you sure? Oh God. Uh, <laughs> missing trick star also. Are you sure you're in this correct project? Do you have uh, do you even have the packet rotation? Yes. And are you you inside this? Does then that doesn't make sense? If you're inside this project and you can you use MBM, it will look at your packet rotation file and it's it file the script. So if you MEM star doesn't work, it means something wrong. So you can try to create the uh, the new project. Okay. Right. Okay, uh, I'm breaking the comments here. Okay. Do you know what the MEM star where I miss that? So if you want to see NBM install is like you uh, add the package to your project. If you want to see the list of your uh, the package uh, module inside your project, you can see it here. It's in dependencies. If you see .env, it means you already installed .env. If you see no daemon, it means you already installed no daemon. Okay. 
So right here we are using debug the in the SBS, Morgan, Nodiman, and Express. Okay. Are you alright now, Jerez? No. Wait. Can anyone say something? I can hear anyone. I can hear. I cannot hear. Still the same for me. Okay, okay. Can hear. Still same. Ah, this how. Uh, uh, can I like uh, look back at your computer later? Okay. Um, let's go. Um, where are we? So we need to uh, add Bootstrap to our SBS, right? So copy everything. Also copy the JavaScript inside layout. You can put in the scripts inside here, right? Cool. Uh, come in. Okay. Uh, these are the command I do. There's nothing new though, but um, uh, basically you want to do two things, npm install, uh, uh, what was it, dot .env, npm install no demon, and then we add one line of code here. Where was it? Uh, uh, in here, we had one lab code here. Two things. And then just npm. Okay, and one more line here. So this is the whole script. I'm going to copy the whole script here. Then npm start. Or npm from there. By the way. All right. A suggestion from Hung, like he he want to me to uh, copy and paste all the commands. That's why I did, and I have no idea where what's one wrong. And maybe you um, you missing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take a look at it. Okay, let's look at your corner. It's gonna ruin the video. Okay, let's go on, and then I'll go back to you. That's my idea. All right. Copy all the JavaScript uh, script here and paste it inside our. You can you can follow this. Uh, you don't have to run the server. You can also follow this. Copy and put it in uh, below the body here. I think it's it has to be inside the body. I guess. Sorry. Okay. Format it. And now you have Bootstrap available in your SVS file. Okay. So now we want to add a navbar. Let's say uh, Nava and just copy and paste. I'm gonna use this one and then we put it in here. Okay. So now we can check the results. Uh, express up. Okay, we actually have a Nava. Cool. All right, uh, move on. Next is next step is like we want to have a form here so that a user can upload instead of showing express welcome to express right so let's go to the index file here and we also have a title it's okay and uh, welcome to the title it's okay and then we have a form what okay we're gonna have a form inside of form you have two fields. And if you look at a uh, motor example here, it shows how to use uh, the form. So you don't make mistake. You can actually just copy and paste, right? And here I, wa here I want to have another, oh, God, it's right here in motor. Read the documentation. Yes, learn to read. <laughs> it's right here, it's nothing new. You can open it. Yeah, copy and paste. I have no time to do. Okay, I'll wait for me to open it up. Uh, sorry. Uh, open it up. Go to npmjs.com and then type in the motor. Click, 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 click. And you see the usage here. Why anything is fine? What? Install what? 
No, it's just HTML. There's no nothing about motor yet, but it's HTML. You can install motor right now as well. It's okay. Let's install it together. I haven't installed it. So uh, we can stop the server right here, install it. And then, bam, done. And start the server again. Okay, now let uh, we want to create another button to uh, like for user to click it, right? You type submit and then uh, upload. Let's say upload. Okay, save it. <clears throat> and this is not the endpoint we want to uh, people to upload. We want to do something called upload. We want to upload to upload route. Okay. Inside your route here, in that route, let's say I want to have um, router dot post create a new method, a new endpoint, which is a pull request, and then let's call it upload. So upload here has to match this upload method is what as well. Okay, so this is the endpoint for that form. Then inside here we're gonna have a function. Uh, the same and that function is gonna have uh, three things request respond and next so now i'm gonna i don't use next so i don't i don't have to put it there say uh um, um respond render so after we upload we want to go to a file uh, an endpoint that have all the images right so let's say that's gonna be uh our image let's say our images and then we have to create another view for that let's say all images okay all images.fps and here is supposed to be uh listing on the image so say uh you will see all image here our original image okay. okay now let's test it do we see do we actually see it right uh go to express app refresh you will have a form it doesn't do anything we we upload the file but it doesn't know anything on the back end side it just uh, like uh render another page for us that's it so we can test it upload okay you will see our original image here right that's what we want right and but right now if you hit enter here it will not work because this route upload here only works for post it only work for post request when you hit on the browser and hit enter like this it's a get request it's different kind of like different right so right here you may have to ask another make another route or uh, get and then you can have everything like this and I'm going to copy and paste and then change this one to get right and you have upload in my lab I call it uh, browse I call it browse to make it sure that uh, you, you see the difference between those two so we can call browse as well they are the same thing and now we can go back and test when you hit enter here it doesn't work right it doesn't work but you change this one to browse you see the same results of uh, when you click uh, upload here so i'm gonna choose any file and then upload you see the same text right that's what uh, we want uh, the user to see all right and uh, hmm, what's next i think that's it uh, for today and then we are gonna move on to the next step we want to upload the, the file right store the file somewhere so we're gonna use motor, and if you look at the documentation here, uh, sorry, why are you sorry? Okay, if you look at the uh, the documentation here, it say how uh, it show you how to use it. You also have the uh, app post which we already have, right? We also uh, need to do some more things. Okay, this is the basic, the very basic uses. We don't use it. Uh, we're gonna use something else called uh, this storage okay 
this storage. So in order to do that, if you look at the code, we need uh, some, a couple of things here. I think just one, the motor package. We just need the motor package and inside the motor package, we already have the uh, this storage properties. So let's import motor bracket, uh, package. We're gonna use motor. So we will create another uh, uh, folder called utils. Right inside utils, we will create a file called. Uh, let's say this one is upload.js. Symbol name. In here, we're gonna use motor cons motor equal to uh, require. Then motor here. Is it correct if you throw up and yes motor require motor right <clears throat> so now i'm gonna copy uh the instruction here copy and now i'll explain okay and copy and paste they use var uh, i don't want to use var you want cons faster and here's some uh funny thing we want to upload one image only so we have to use um dot single upload i guess Yes, uh, okay. Single upload. Okay, sorry, uh, single, uh, upload dot single, like this, something like this. And the, if you look at the avatar here, avatar here is the name of the field, right? The name of the field, this is very important. You need to, the, you need to have the same name here, the avatar here and the name here. So what if I go back and see on my uh, index here, I see the name is avatar, which is David. I don't want that. I, let's say call file upload, right? Or original image, something, just call it file upload. Go back and change it. And in here, we want to change this one to, uh, we can also change here. Let's say this one's upload. And, okay, just leave it. I will go back later. And then we need to export this upload. Export this. Let's say I'm gonna export. Uh, module dot export equal to upload, right? So we can import it in our index file here. Cons upload equal to require. Uh, where do we start a file? Uh, um, general. Can you say again? About that? Right, right after this one. General. Where do I import it? Can Can you say something? Uh, uh, like. Can you type or can you speak? It's okay. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure where you would put it though. Uh, we want to import the uh, the code. We just export here. Okay, so this. yeah, you would put it through upload. Yes, so now I want to import it to use, to consume. Yeah. So, so how do I, yeah. you would entitle it upload. But right. I need to uh, type in the path that list to that file. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, yeah. So, um, where is it where? on the file? Uh, it's under utils, so it would be uh, dot forward slash or the whatever, um, utils um, dash upload. But we have to make sure that we're in the right file, and I'm pretty sure that I didn't see utils when we put it in. So I think that we need to add another period. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that is correct. Okay. So this one upload here is a middleware. It's a middleware. And I will explain everything in here after this. So to use the middleware, we can put it in right here. Uh, upload and then the middleware and then comma another function right middleware go into the middle and here middleware we want to uh, because uh, there's something wrong here uh, whatever okay whatever router the pause require callback function but got an object object all right that's, that's why it's complaining this the upload here is just uh, object, an object right now so we need to do something here if you go to the doc, they have a single avatar, right? We can have it uh, right here, right inside our code here. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. You can do it like this. Uh, single, then the name of the field, for example, file upload. 
I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, let's go back and see. File upload. Just copy and paste to make sure it's correct. Okay. The error, go away. Right. Let's see if we, if we actually see it. Right. And go back. Uh, I'm going to answer the question from Ben first. Can you say again the route that I get? Right. Uh, go back here. We have three routes right here. Right. Get two get and one post. The post here is going to be uh, to handle the request from the user when they upload the file. And these two guests is to handle uh, the index, index, the harm here. First is the harm. The second one is going to be uh, browse to show all the images after we upload it. So that's why we have two get and one post. Why do we have to upload a single again? Uh, because that's the uh, is how it designed, and uh, the greater of this, you can upload an array. <laughs> you can upload an array, uh, array of something. Right? For example, you can upload multiple stuff, not just one, and you can upload a uh, select field, for example, and how many times. So there's a lot of customization in there. For now, we are going to use one single field, upload one single. Single file. Okay. You can even upload none, which doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Upload single. Yeah, for example, here, if you look at uh, the app here, you can only upload one file. Right? To make sure the speed is okay, the internet is okay, you let's just say, uh, sim make it simple. Upload one file first. When you click upload. It upload one file only. Okay, that's why motor say upload dot single. You go back, upload a single. You can put a single here, or you can cut it and then put it here. It works the same. Both are the same. So let's say let's uh, put single here to make it simple. All right, so here inside, uh, so many ways line object here. It's, uh, it's a function. Actually, it's a function. Middleware, this one is a function. But this function belongs to a kind of like uh, an object because people like to do OOP, object oriented programming. The motor is an, a whole object. Inside the object, they have a method called single. And this method will use this as a middleware. Cool. All right. <clears throat> so inside here you can you see uh, storage equal motor this story this story is kind of like a an options motor the first key destination is uh, you can define where you want to save the file for example right now it try to save in the temp tempor temporary folder on my computer and after that is the file my uploads but we don't want to store the files there we want to store it somewhere else so i'm gonna say cons path okay i uh, know let's not use path okay use path to uh, to use the package there's a package called path we need it in order to get the uh, the 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 path name to this folder for example i'm gonna create a new folder called uh, uploads Right, it's upload is going to be uh, a original images, a lot of original images which we will upload there. So how do we get the, the path name to uh, this folder? We can do pub on the terminal, right? We can see the path name here. The, this is absolute path on my computer. So we need one more slash upload. No, we need one more slash public and then upload. Cool. So how do we do that? We can use the path package. From node, you can do calls uh, path to upload, for example, like that. Equal to path dot join, and then here's a snippet. The directory name is where our project is. Uh, where is this file located, right? And then if you want to go to upload, you need to go up one level, uh, right? Uh, where are we? We are in utils, so we want to go up one level, one level to uh, the uh, the root route, and then we go into public. 
right inside public we want to go into uploads all right uploads okay okay and now you can call the variable here constant is a constant okay we can call constant here so we want to save all the files in this folder all right and here is the file name file name is another function to decide which name you want to save the file as for example you want to save it as a um some crazy stuff for example Sierra. okay save it and let's try to see what happened here i'm gonna uh where are we fresh server is down stop it okay okay let's run it again and uh, let's say i want to upload upload this image wow. okay after everything is done it's go to uh, this route as expected right as we expected from the uh, the way we define our router here okay so inside the folder i expect to have a file called sierra and it's actually the image that we uploaded it's not why is the name sierra here it's because we changed the name to sierra right here this is where we decide which name we want to set the file. So if you want to keep the original name, you can do uh, file dot file name. Okay. So inside here we have uh, the element request file and callback. Callback is in only include the uh, the next. So when when you try to say callback and then you put in the first element is a no, it means there's no error. There's no error and behind the scene motor will call the next function inside our we are set it before we have request respond in the next function right so if the first element here in the callback is no motor will call next for us if there's something wrong it will stop and throw the error right away so let's say i'm gonna say uh okay uh, how do we say uh right just Let's say we don't we we don't uh, throw uh, uh, a successful message here, but I want to say callback error something wrong, and then uh, this one is now undefined because we don't have the file for example, and you should see the error here. If you go back here, I am gonna upload everything. I'm gonna choose this file again. Upload. You will see error. You should see error though. Uh, it's not error. It's so yeah, it's error because we don't see it because we don't lock it out. We don't lock it out. We don't lock it out. But there's error and the file is not here. And actually, look if you look at this, there's something wrong in our server because there's error inside our server. That's why it doesn't lock out. But there's an error, right? So if you want to stop it, you can use um. Let me say uh. Uh, uh cause error equal to a new error and then we can say something wrong and then we can call the error in there error. let me try again to see what happened uh go back to our root upload a file this kit again okay this is what we uh the user we see and how do we have that? It's from here, from our era here. Okay. So handling error here is kind of complicated because this error will be handled by Express or the library itself. It depends on how they define, uh, like how they create it. So let's um, not don't worry too much about the error. We can see this. So this error is okay, right? If you dive into the error handler, it's gonna be complicated for now. So let's accept this result. Okay. So now we need to do a couple of things, right? We need to guard against, for example, if the user doesn't upload images, but instead they upload, you know, for example, a text file, we will throw an error to tell them, okay, upload an image, not uh, a text file. So how do we do that? I already showed you the uh, 
D, 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 D. Um, where was it? Uh, the assemble. The my time something called my type, right? You remember this? Let's say uh, okay. I'm gonna console log the file here and see what happened there in there. Console log file. Okay. Again, let's go back and upload something. Uh, I'm gonna upload this kit again. Oh my god. Uh, slow. Uh, all right. I'm gonna slow. This is the result of the file. All right. This is the file. You will see a couple of fields. For example, first is the field name. Field name is uh, the field inside our index.sps here. It's field upload, right? As you can see here, it's field upload. Is this too small? No. Okay. And the original name, original name is the name of the file that we upload. For example, if I go back and uh, this is the name of the file that I try to upload, right? As you can see there, original name. And also you have a type. Of the name, the name, uh, the file type. It says my type is image slash JPEG. So now, if you want to go against uh, people trying to upload files that you don't want to, you want to accept, right? You can do. There are two ways to do it. Actually, not. Uh, there's only one way, but there are two steps. You have to go on the front end, as well as you have to go on the back end side. So how do you got against that on the front end? We can have uh, an attribute called uh, accept, I think. We want to accept something only. We don't want to accept everything. And I don't remember, I don't really remember everything. So I'm going to ask Google HTML form accept uh, file that. Set attribute, go click on it. You will see something. Okay, here you accept uh, image that give image uh, uh, slash uh, JPEG, something like that. Okay, let's copy this. And then inside our code here, it's not here, sorry. It's right here. It's in here. Accept image give image JPEG. We want to add more. We can do image slash uh, png, right? And then image uh, jpeg without e. Okay, these are the four of our type of extension we want to use to upload. Nothing else. Okay, save it. Now, if you check your website on the front end, it will stop you right away if you try to upload. Um, let me say. For example, if I rename this one to uh, something called TST, what? Can I change it for some reason? Uh, go to uh, pictures, pictures, and I'm going to change the name to TXT, okay? Uh, and then when I try to upload, accept it. it shouldn't allow me to though uh, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna stop the server run again okay I choose this file uh, okay something weird go back accept and uh, type image type I don't think it's correct oh shit it's not Supported in HTML files. What the hell? Uh, I think that there should be one. Okay, you put it in okay. input, not in the form. So that <laughs> that result from uh, W three is kind of confusing. So we move the accept in, into our input field. Move it. Copy. Move it into the input right here. Try again. Um, where are we? This. Okay, click and you cannot uh, choose this file, right? See, you cannot choose it. 
it's not allowed even if i click it like this it's, it's dry out as you can see the color is different right it's right out so you cannot uh, pick that file you can only pick the kit here right that's what way uh, that's how you revamp it on the front end right and this is how you revamp it on the back end side we're done with the front end now we need to check the uh, the back end i'm going to copy all of these Okay, on the front end, you will uh, like, uh, I'm gonna create cards, let's say allows, because an array. Inside this array is a list of, um, it's a list of allow type that we want the user to uh, allow the user to upload, right? So these are the allow type. It's an array so that I can uh, do some iteration easily. Okay, now I can check if if <coughs> file here file here right dot uh, original name okay if file dot original name uh, no we can do allows dot includes okay using includes faster if allows to include the original name no it's not it's not uh, that is my type sorry file type dot my type oh shit file type dot my type <laughs> my type is here we want to check the extension we want to check the extension we want to check the extension if my type include is included inside uh, in our array here we allow them to upload if it's not included, we will say something console of uh, file type is not right. Okay, so let's say let's try something wrong. A cons error echo unexpected cons. Uh, oh, what the hell! Right. Uh, if if there's no error, we will call this one without error. So it's gonna be no and the file name. The file name is an original name. Okay. If it's allowed, we're gonna save it to our storage here with the the name original name. If the the my type here is not allowed then we will throw an error for the user and let's say uh, something wrong with the uh, error equal to the error i don't see any different any error no okay let's go with that now you can try and uh, see what happened let's say i'm gonna pick oh shit we have to disable uh, the uh, the front end first we need to disable this Copy. all right now front end allow us to upload the uh, file, right? But the back end we throw an error. I expect to uh, the back end to throw an error. Upload file type is not allowed. See, so we successfully got on the front end and the back end at the same time. Now you may ask why we do we have to go on the back end side if we already have uh, a safe guy on the front end, right? So the back end here, uh, I'm gonna return it, right? The back end here, like uh, anyone can use it. It's not just a browser; it can be called on Postman as well. For example, if I open my Postman, well, what the hell? So where is my tool, Postman? Hang on, let me open my postman. Okay, if I have my postman here and I call the API, so that's that's an API, and I call that and I upload a file using postman, it's gonna break me up, right? And I don't want that, I want to go on the front end as well as the back end. Cole Daniel, you look like you are what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Sorry, just paying attention. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it makes sense so far. 
continue. Yeah. That's why we have to go on the back end and the front end as well. And uh, okay, that's uh, pretty much. Uh, 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 okay, let's try to upload a proper image, right? Let's try to upload a proper image. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my front page, upload this kit here. Okay, the image is inside our upload folder right now. If you open it, you should see the kit, right? That's what we want. And uh, let's recap. We can do a lot of things here inside here. Now let's recap it first. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna delete uh, these line. And this the whole thing here belong to its order, so I'm gonna take a break. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Step by step, we use motor, so we need to import motor, right? And then inside motor, it is this part is uh, I copy, as you can see, I copy a lot of uh, from the documentation page from here. Uh, where is it? Uh, uh, what the hell? Where did I copy it? Uh, here, right here. Okay, we use uh, this storage. Basically, it will allow you to full control of the storing files to the disk, which means where you want to store what like what logic before you store you can run uh, a lot of logic be before you store and the name of the file you can you can change the name of the file as well so you can you have a lot of freedom using this uh, option and uh, so we use motor to no we use motor to save file to the disk not getting it save it to save it to not creating okay we use motor to read the file from the request here. Yeah. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. So motor will read the request object, right? It will read the request object. And then it will uh, fire the file based on the field name we put it here, right? Yeah, so not, not really the database, save file to the, the, uh, the hard drive or the machine. It doesn't save to any database yet. We, we don't have any database yet. We only have a uh, storage to save the file. That's it. Right. That's why you don't see anything here. Uh, you, you haven't seen anything on, on the screen here. You don't see any images. So motor save the file to upload folder. Yes. And it allow us to have some logic as well. And how does know that we want to save it to the uploads folder? We define the path name right here. So if you console log it, if you console log part to upload, you will see something like um, uh, uh, let's 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 go and console log it, right? Uh, you can, yeah, we can define it in the destination, yeah, inside the destination, and let's console log it, right? And here's and let's say um, okay, so we define where we want to save the files here. As you can see, you see it right here, right? So this is where we want to save the files. So it depends on your machine. You, in your machine, it could be different because this is my structure, this is my hard drive. But if we don't define the path for our folder, uh, it will, if you use the original code like this, it will save to your temporary folder and then my uploads folder, right? And if it cannot find the uh, path, it may throw an error. I, I'm not sure, sure. I'm, I don't remember, but it doesn't matter. It can throw an error because it cannot find the, the path, or it will create the path for you and then save everything inside the folder, which we don't want to. Right? We don't want the uh, the uh, the tool to create anything for us. And we just want to it to do what we tell them. Okay. So we define the solution and the format of the file in there. It's not really the format, it's the name of the file. It's the name of the file. The extension is part of the name. It's, it's a part of the name. For example, here. Earlier, I tried to use uh, Sierra, right? Earlier, I tried to save everything as Sierra. And that's why you see Sierra here. 
but it, it's actually a, an image. But everything is Sierra because I try to use Sierra like this. And that's why you say that's why you see the, the file name in Sierra here. So if I make the file dynamically uh, based on the uh, the file dot original name. So whatever the, the name of the user choose, you will see it on our database, on our local here, local storage here. Why we need the file dot original name? You can choose anything, any name you want. For example, you can even like modify the name. For example, if you have a, a data object, day dot now I think. Okay, and a, a data object, and then you plus it. You have to stringify it first. So I think you have to uh, two string. Yes. So the name will be uh, a bunch of uh, character in the front, and then at the end you will see the name of the file, the real name of the file. So what's the first parameter for callback? The first parameter is error. Is error. If if error is no, it will uh, behind the scene motor we call the next function, which we call next. It's basically it's, it's something like this. Uh, if first argument is no, it will call uh, the second. Uh, we call next behind the scene. We call next behind the scene, and it will pass pass this one to the request object as well as uh, it's not here. It's it's here. I think uh, it's here. We will pass uh, on the file name to request object. Okay. And if the error is something, is an error, there's some error, right? Error is not no, error is not undefined. It's for example, this, there's some error, it will not call next. Right? Instead of it will do something else. So that's why we see the error on our page here. I'm going to save it. And let's say, uh, where am I? Right here. Okay, let's upload the text here. Oh, I cannot. I have to change something here. Um, I have to remove this. Okay, let's go back. Let's replace, upload a txt file, and we see an error. Type file is not. It's not magic. It's from. It's where we define it right here. But type is not allowed. So we can change it uh, to it to any message we want. Right. Where were we? Uh, I'm going to go back and paste everything here. And that's it for this part. And what else do we done? Okay, next step, we want to uh, render on images, right? After we upload everything, we want to render on images. And uh, you need to think like, uh, logically, how do we like show on the image? On the image? The first question, how do we render the image? Like yeah. how, how does the HTML file? How does the browser understand that? How to render the image? What do we need? What do we need to render image? Uh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, I guess. Uh, yes, Hung, we already have that, but uh, we didn't. We don't see anything on the APS. We already have the ABS, ABS here. Uh, I think all images here, but we cannot see any image, right? Why is that? And how do we how do we actually see it? Very first thing is the image tag. Yes, we need the object of image. We need those image first. We need uh, not really, but we need the the image tag for something like this image and then shocks or something right and then this we need something some code to display it and then this code this image tag is some shocks right shocks shock is just a string and how do we get a string mm -hmm. or is something like uh, i'm sad to say uh not really young so we need we need a source, and how do we get the source from our folder here? 
so we can say uh, I'm, I'm gonna say um, folder I'm gonna copy a name here copy a name and then close this kit and put the source here inside our public folder no we are inside public so we need to use upload and then the name of the files right jpeg and i expect to see uh, this image uh, browse see now we see the kit okay now we need to change the uh, the shocks we want to make the shocks dynamic depends on what we have here right yes yes correct create a json file to store on the image it's not the image store on the image information for example what's the name of the file where do we store it for example and also you can store the uh, the size of the file as well so all of those things we already have them here it's inside the file here right it's already inside the file here uh, like earlier i console log it right you can see all right here we go we have the file we have original name we have uh, the my type everything right but uh uh motor do more for us for example if i delete this one let me delete this one first okay you go back to index and you uh there's some magic here i'm gonna uh, this one right i'm gonna do for example something like console log request dot file and you will see something i hope so let's clear everything here and then upload again upload uh this kit again All right okay now if you look at your console you see something magical you see uh original name right and also the file name this name is the uh the one that uh motor set to our database for us for example if we change this one we add an object a data object here the name will be uh, different the file name will be different but the original name is the same and so you should have the size of the image also the path you also have the path to the name to the file right you have all of those things motor gave us uh, give uh, those information to us using uh there's a lot behind the scene, but uh, it's basically that's how we use it. So after the upload is successful, we have this file here. Cool. We have the file on the folder. We also have the information of that file here. So next step, we are gonna save these information somewhere. We need to save somewhere, like Hung Nguyen said, right? We need to create a JSON file and store these information inside our JSON files. Uh, image like name or something. yes he has uh, corrected so let's do that i'm gonna to uh, remember what we did on day one on monday we need a load uh, some a function to call load data to read the files the database and we also need a function called uh, save data to save it also we want more and more function like to uh, to add new data to that uh, original data remember on those three functions that's why i want to do to finish that uh hard work and let's finish here i'm gonna create a, a file here okay let's call it uh, data.js instead of data.js we have uh, we will have three functions the first one is going to be uh, low data we'll do this i'm gonna be uh shit i, I forgot let's define those three uh, images dot json and then one more memes dot json right we, we need to store memes as well so i'm doing that too so you need the images dot json and then close this close this and you need to replay i forgot uh cause buffer equal to fs dot uh read file scene in order to use fs you need to import it uh, fs equal to require fs right spelling All right now you have buffer but you need the the path the location of the file so where is it 
it should be outside utils so go up to and then and then uh, and then util and then uh, images.json right but you're not sure you're not sure the part is correct so you will have to use something that looks like this let's copy it in paste it. so you use path you want to path to use path to upload change this one to um path to data for example and then you put the data here instead of hard coding like that why is that because depend on your machine then the, the absolute part will be different so we want to use something like this to get the files uh, to get to the correct folder and then this one is going to be uh, the name of the, uh, the file it's going to be um, images.json images.json oh. right we got the data and now we want to stringify the buffer Data equal to buffer. We are do this, so I'm gonna do it fast. Here, two string, right? And then we have to do return. We have to return uh, JSON dot pass and then data, right? Correct. I don't know. Is it correct? I'm not sure. Sure. And then we need one more function to save the data. Save data. Okay, and to save data, we want to, um, 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 so we need a data here, and then we, we do the opposite, fs.write file since, and then we need the path to the file, which is this, and then the data itself, stringify data. You see the, the power of uh, tab 9 is recommended everything <laughs> so you can like for people who have like a uh, bad memory like me I, I like it and that's it I think right so we have low data we have cell data what about we need a, a push something to like pushing the new data we can do it right here let's move do it outside here and then we can refactor it so you need to do some condition check, conditional check for example if we actually have the file we will push it if we don't have the file we don't push it right if you push a, an empty object it will be kind of like silly and will cause a lot of error later uh, if request file if not we also return race uh, return rest dot render on images right with a message of error error equal to for example uh, 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 you need to upload a file for example right and if there's a file we will push the file to our data base okay is that Okay, I think I, I went too fast. Uh, I, I'm starting to lose people now. <laughs> right, up until now, do you, uh, like, uh, please add again, like what I'm doing here. Why do we have request.file? Hmm. Why do we have that? Also, well, um, let's add Shang, Shang. Hello, Shen. Hello. Shen ơi, hello. As to start, can you unmute yourself, uh, Shen? Right, he's not here. Uh, who is it? Jin Le. So, why do we have a request.file here? 
yeah, request files when we uh, first start the address file, we start the authentic uploads. It must uh, secure uh, upload a file. It start to get in that browser by directly when you not upload. That what I, uh, I talk. This one. No, I'm talking about how how do how do we have this object? Yeah, how do we have it object? Where where does it come from? Like, uh, it's not magic, right? It's not magic. There must be some code to do it for us. Uh, why do we have something called request a file? Uh, we said as uh, the from submit with the files and uh, where well, when we request request it instead of query we input it uh, directly, right? Uh, let's say okay. What if I don't have the upload here? Let me see what happened here, right? So still everything the same. So uh, uh, it only it only so uh, grows. You need okay, uh, did I upload it? No, there's no such thing. It's undefined. Okay, so this this object is not uh it's not magic, it's not uh, from the request. Actually it's not from the browser who make a request and there's uh, that object is not there by default. It was created by this library called motor right motor will save the file and then it will turn behind the scene it will create for example uh, if you do something like request that's why it had request here right? request equal to uh, request dot file equal to file for example if you do something like this for us right behind the scene and that's why after we finish the first middleware this one after we finish the first middleware, right? Inside our request object, we also we we have uh, something called file request a file. That's where it comes from, right? Uh, next question. Let's say let's see. Um, uh, okay, let's go back and you need to understand this. Uh, Uh, what's this argument here? What is known? Come. What is known here? Come, come. I think it is the the file. If it not, uh, if it it not, uh, we have for for thing to accept the file so if not accept that so uh, I think so all right it's wrong <laughs> you uh, all right uh, can, uh, you're very good at uh, following the call and instruction but you need to practice on explanation right yeah I can see your call you can do everything yes but uh, when I ask question you you were like uh, answer is not correctly really but uh, so you need to practice that uh, the first argument here inside the callback, right, is an object, an, an error object. It has to be an error object. And behind the scene, motor will check when you call callback, uh, when you run a callback function here. Behind the scene, it will check if the first argument is not null, mm. if it's not undefined, if it's not uh, false or assemble. Okay, that means there's something on the, in the first argument, right? So that will understand it as an error. And it will return the error to our views, for example, here. It will return the error here. That's why here, if we have an error in a callback, these, call, these callbacks are the same. They are the same, right? Yeah. Same, same. So if there's an error here, mm -hmm. and I define the error right here, and yeah. you will see that error on the screen. You saw it before, right? So that's if the first element is no or undefined or false yeah right it will skip uh it will like uh it will just like how we did here 
it's just like how we see. If it's, there's no error, if you skip that and move on to the next block of code, yeah. same thing there. If there's no error, it will save the file with its name. Mm. Same thing. Okay, same thing with this. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's it. And also remember, we want dot single and the name of the field. Dot single and the name of the field. Because we only upload one file. If you want to upload an array, you can use a different uh, method. For example, dot array, I think. I have never used it, so I don't know. And this file upload is a field name right here. The field name right here. It has a match, right? So what if I change and I, I try to upload using Postman? Let's see. I'm going to create a new route, localhost 1000, right? And then upload, upload to the endpoint. And I change this one to post request. Inside here, I want to, the body is going to be a URI form, form data. We pick form data, remember? Form data. Uh, form data here. Okay, we pick form data and then we have a key called um, file upload. File upload here. And the value is going to be uh, how do we get this value here? Uh, content type. I know if we uh, need content type though. Uh, the body, how do we get the uh, the value here, uh, key, uh, there should be somewhere uh, so I can add the, uh, the file. Oh shit, how do we, I'm gonna get the, uh, the name of my files. Uh, uh, I'm, let's say I'm gonna upload this one, <laughs> upload this one, uh, rename it, uh, no, yeah, rename it, copy paste it here dot jpeg and also i want to get the real the, the the folder let's see what happened okay i want to upload a file using this form send it okay this is what i expect to receive in return okay we actually see on the original image here something going on here how do i Beautiful. Uh, all right, we actually see it, and let's see what happened behind the scene. Error cannot set header after they're sent to client. I think this is your error. I don't know. Let's clear everything and then send again. Okay. Okay, that's the error we uh, we had. So basically, uh. Uh, wait, uh, if, okay, there's not a file in there. It cannot read the files because it's undefined right here. Something wrong, I use the wrong one. Let's go and uh, let's try to, uh, how to, okay. How to send a file with post request with postman. I forgot. Uh, <clears throat> all right uh body you you choose for data all right why the hell they have the uh the ability to choose a file that i don't have it oh oh file here okay you you have to select this type of file and then here you can select the file for example i want to upload this kit and then i hit send all right look at your console you see the file right exactly the file that we want to send so if you don't have uh, the back end side to go against this the uh, exploiter will be able to upload the file that you don't want also if you change the name of the field here you change to a different field upload d so many d and it will show an error okay error error unexpected error some 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 awesome error i don't know okay so that's why you that's how you use postman to do the same thing with your like like how you do it on your browser 
and you're gonna use Fastman a lot uh, next week, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, next week you're gonna use Fastman a lot. So I, I think that you try to practice with Fastman. It's okay. It's good. All right. Uh, where are we? Which part do you want me to uh, recap, uh, uh, or should I like move on to save the data? And and it's just following. And I, Emily, I would rather see the data. Okay, you want to move on? All right, let's move on. Uh, all right, so we. So at this slide, we know for sure that we already received a file, right? And now we want to push that file to our database. You can do something like this. You, you have, we already have two functions to load and save. We need to export them. Uh, module.export equal to an object. And this inside the object, we have two functions, load data and save data. OK. And now we will import them load data and save data equal to require and uh, the path to the file util i guess and what's the name of the file data all right cool now we want to load the file uh, load it Cons data equal to load data all right now we push um data or push push what we want to push request a file name request a file sorry request a file and then we save the data right after all inside the uh, our image here we need to send something let's call it their images right and what are they they are an array of data. Image equal to data. Data is here. So basically, we send uh, an array of uh, multiple objects, and which each object is an image, and we want to see uh, the file name. All right. Now we go into the all images, SPS. Say I want to run a for loop. What was it? Uh, if only if uh, shit. If if there is images, right? We will run a for loop. And if cool. And now we run a for loop like this. Uh, each images is so an array. Inside each images, uh, we need to end uh, each as well. All right, here we're gonna do image and then shocks something. And then I don't know if we need a quotation here, but uh, just keep it. And then the art as well. Art is so the, uh, so each image is an object inside the object is gonna be uh, what? Uh, image dot, uh, image dot, image dot what? I forgot, image dot, uh, file name okay. image of file name but outside of that it has you you need the uh, the folder as well you just start with the upload folder so it's going to be upload and then the file name right and here you also have the out file name as the out and then let's see what happened save everything uh, why do we have something like this oh remove it Go to our uh, app here, and then you go to browse. All right, there's a lot of thing here. Pass error on line six. Uh, blah 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 blah. It doesn't understand the uh, the color braces here. You need to change into uh, defected. Sorry, I think. So how do, why don't we just do this and then plus? Yeah, so why don't we just do this? Let's see what happened. Same thing. All right. Uh, can understand uh, the file name. 
So it could be uh, another object. So the file name is uh, another key inside. It's a, an attribute, a property inside the image, single image. Right. We actually see something there. It's nothing really. Uh, is it a close? We start inside our SVS. We start at the first. Uh, as a public folder, so we don't need to go back, upload, upload, just start, uh, go straight into uploads, right? So now I, ha I have a bug here. I cannot see all the images. So why is that? All right, here's the reason because I haven't done anything inside our get browse. Get browse here. I haven't, I don't have anything. Right. I only uh, do it inside our post upload. So let's try with our post upload. I upload something. Uh, uh, this picture upload it. Okay, unexpected end of JSON input. So this is what uh, I expect to see. And shit. Uh, it's inside data. Inside data, you use data line number 10. It's too small. Bigger. Line number 10 inside our data.js. Go back utils data.js. Unexpected what? End of JSON input. Something wrong here. Line number 10. Uh, wait. Two string. Is it correct syntax? I forgot. Is it correct? I don't remember. Let's go back and see. Uh, Tuesday. Right file scenes, uh, JSON pass, that transition, touching, correct. Right. If it's correct, why do we see, where am I? Why do we see this error on line number 10, 15 then? It's inside low data, something wrong in there. Low data. Low data is wrong here. Hmm. So how do we debug this? We can check line by line. So it's fair right here. So let's see, uh, do we see data? Fill up data. Save it, run again. Uh, refresh, continue. Okay. So let's find. Uh, we got, what is this? Where is it coming from? Why is it here? Uh, go away. All right again. I'm gonna reload it. We used to see a console up there. We don't see it. Uh, go back to data console up data. Then go back. Upload. Uh, this picture. Upload it. Okay, we actually see nothing. Haha. <laughs> Why? Because inside here, it's empty. We need an array, right? We need an array. Okay. Then go back and try again. And uh, this, this image again, upload. So everything is there, but something wrong. We have a a a a slash. The image is here, right? But for some reason we cannot see it. Let's click, right click, and then open an image in the new tab. And here, <laughs> this this reason why it cannot load the image because there are some weird characters here. I think it's a string, the quotation mark. So we can go back to uh, the SBS, remove this, remove it, and. This has to be a string. Yeah. Uh, how do we? Can we use string like this? I'm not so sure. Let's try it uh, again. Home. Um, go away. Home. Um, upload this image again. It's already here inside our database. Inside our uh, machine. Upload it. Still the error. Oh my god! It's so annoying. Why do we have a, a, a plus here? 
Oh shit. Alright, again, with our plus we should see the image, right? <laughs> okay, with our plus. That's so weird. Syntax is different in every language, right? right. In Jinja it's different, in JS it's is different, in uh handlebar is different. Alright, so we see the images, right? All the images right here. Let's upload one more. Upload uh, this kit here. So we have two kits. So your job is to prevent this error. Like uh, I don't want duplications. Okay. If the image is already there in your storage, you should not allow user to upload one more. All right. So that's your logic. You have two places you can have it. You can have it in, uh, you can add more logic in here, I guess. Yeah, here. So let's say, for example, if, uh, let's comment out this. If already exists, exists in a uh, JSON file, for example, or in JSON file, we are not a uh, pro error, right? Something like that, and you have to do it yourself. What else do you want me to show? I think this is enough for today, I guess. Any question? Uh, would there be any different if you want to upload a video? Uh, all right, uh, if you want to upload a video, you can do it too. Yeah, uh, I think there should be another, uh, like, uh, you can ask Google how to upload, you know, but basically it should be the same. No JS uh, library. Okay, so yeah, of course. Uh, upload file. Upload file. So basically, video is just a file. <laughs> Can you accept it? Yes. Just uh, add one more thing here. For example, um, I know the file name. Maybe it's video or something, and then uh, MV4, something like that. And you allow them to upload. Okay, next question. Can I see your SVS? Yes, of course. No, if it's harder, no way. Uh, can I see your own image? Right. Here. Right. Yeah. What do you expect to see here? So it's nothing. If the image, we render image, and here's the uh, list, uh, an array, right? We do for each. Inside that, we render the uh, string here and here. So why do we have uh, three <laughs> curly braces? Because each image is an object, right? We want to target the uh, the property file name inside that image, single image. So that's why we need another object here. So it should be image here, and then inside it is another object. So that's why we see three curly braces. All right. All right, uh, okay. Uh, any question? Okay, oh, I forgot one more thing. We need to fix this one. All right. We need to do it so that when user go to the browse route, they also see all of these images. So it's very simple. I'm gonna copy everything and uh, paste here, and then I remove the uh, push and write. Just that's it, okay. Uh, yeah. That's it, and let's see. Uh, if you go to the browse, you should see all the images as well, right? Correct. Wait, what did you fix? I didn't fix anything. What did you change? <laughs> oh my god, uh, okay. I just copy and paste, that's it. I copy and paste and delete, change the whole thing. I copy. All of these, I paste here and delete these two lines, and that's it. I didn't even type anything. Uh, basically, we don't need the the logic here. We don't need to push anything to our database. <laughs> okay, we just want to load the data, the array, and then we render the array. That's it. All right. Any question? Uh, how can you recap everything like from start to 
the end like briefly uh recap all right um mm -hmm. So basically, we need to uh, create, repair all of those APS. I think it's very clear on how to do it, right? It's kind of like similar to React. So, uh, and we need one page to show the upload form. We need another page to show the results after we upload, we want to show all the images. And that's page called all images. Inside that, we will have a condition. For example, if there's some image in there, there's an array called image, we will loop the array and render all the images inside the array. Okay, that's enough with this. I'm going to close it. All right, in our index route here, right, the file index here, we will have uh, three routes right now, three routes. This one is to render the index file in this page, right? And in here, we will have a form. And that form, when you upload the file, that form will uh, call this ABI, we call this route upload route with a post request. And inside that, there's a file under the field name file upload. And upon receive the request uh, inside this, um, this route here. Okay. The whole route here. We have a middleware called upload. And this middleware will uh, what middle this middleware will uh, we define how how we define middleware. I'm, uh, I will say uh, again later. Uh, it's here. But middle this middleware will like uh, look at the, your request, read the files, do something, and save the files, and then return the information for you inside the request object. And oh shit, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and then you need to uh, handle the error case. Like for example, if the user doesn't upload anything, uh, which means you will not have request or file, and then you have to throw an error. Okay, something wrong. You need to upload a file. I forgot to do it in uh, my APS here. So if not if if error, right? If error, we show error. For example, uh, let's say uh, S1, and then we show the error. All right. So let's go back and upload nothing. Let's see what happened. Upload nothing. Okay. You need to upload a file. This one came from. Uh, came from where? From here. All right. Now read. Next recap. Now we need to understand the uh, what this middleware uploads does, right? So basically, I copy a lot from uh, the documentation, and you should do that too. And we define the motor, we define where we want to save it, the path only, the path only, and inside the, this storage here, is the, the whole thing here is an op op option. Option. Option means that we can customize everything. We can customize the destination of where we want to sell using uh, this function, right? And if for some reason, if we cannot find the path or we cannot save it, there will be an error. But right here, we don't have, we don't have to handle that kind of error. And we also have the ability to choose the file name. So right here, we choose the original name. We want to save as a original name from the computer. We also have the ability to do some logic before we save it. For example, I check here, I check if the extension, the my type extension is inside the list that we allowed. If it's not, we will show an error, say, okay, the file type is not allowed. And if it's include the file, the file extension is included in this array, we move on and we say, okay, there's nothing wrong. Motor, there's nothing wrong, save the file with the original name. That's it. And under the hood, after everything is done, motor will automatically call the next function. Next. So that's why we can move on to this function here. All right. Any question? All right. And the last, lastly, lastly, after we got the file, actually we, we save the file to uh, the local storage. Now we want to also recall some information too. 
want to save information somewhere. So basically, we have two things that are related to the files: the physical files and the information of the files. Okay, and informa information will be stored in inside our database. In the future, you should do that too. It should be stored inside our database. Database will not store files because it's too big. There's a file that is like one gigabyte. You cannot store it inside your database. It's, it's bullshit. So you need to store the information only or the path to the file. That's why we need a database for that. And here's how. Uh, I don't want to repeat this. We did a lot. Okay. And we render everything. That's it, I guess. Any questions? Can I ask you what that uh, www file does under you the bin? You missed yes. the like Ah, uh, okay. It's something uh, created by uh, Express Generator. Ah, uh, okay. Express Generator. So it's mm -hmm. kind of a little bit different from what we in the lab, but mm -hmm. I think people understand the already. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, with our data.js image association and meme association, will the platform properly? Oh, uh, it's it will work. Yeah, it will work. It still save the image to uh, this folder, but we have no way to get those information. Right? We keep storing the image, but we have no way to get it out to to call it to render it because we don't have the path to that folder. We also don't have the name. As soon as your application closes, it forgets right away. So we need somewhere to record those information. That's why we need database. All right. Okay. It's not really for render, it's for keeps <laughs> keeping the records, right? Keeping the records. And in order to render, you need the records to render, yes. That's why we have MVC. And if you want to do it, um, you want to improve your code better, this part, actually, this part belongs to the M in the MVC, right? You can move it uh, inside our data here and create a function for that as well. But I think uh, putting it here is okay because we want to see the data in the M. Right. <clears throat> Any questions? I think it's very clear, right? The, the problem is uh, code. Do the actual code, yeah. Juris, uh, he's, uh, he's not here for some reason. Wing, wing to Hung Ta is okay, right? But what about it's three o'clock. Okay, any question before I close this? No, 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 no. No. Okay. So see you guys. If you have some questions, just um, jump on uh, Zoom here and ask. I will create some private room for you. Bye bye.